Welcome back to 7 News at Noon, everybody. The Securities and Exchange Commission taking aim today at former employees of Boston's Prudential Securities. Civil charges have been filed against six former employees for alleged improper trading. 7's Julie O'Claire live in Boston with this developing story. Francis and Sean, the SEC complaint says those former employees defrauded dozens of mutual funds and their shareholders by misrepresenting their identities and the identities of their customers in order to engage in market timing trades. It says they made a lot of money. In one example, one group, including three of the defendants, made $5 million in those commissions in one year alone. Mutual funds are supposed to be a safe haven for the small investor, the little guy. But with widening allegations of fraud, mismanagement, and high fees at companies like Prudential Securities and Putnam Investments, some investors are saying they don't know who to trust. You want some level of honesty from people who are running these um, mutual funds and to actually see them, to actually hear these allegations going on and hear the scandals going on really, really shocks me and kind of wants me to think again where I want to put my money. And now with the Security and Exchange Commission filing a civil fraud action suit against five former Prudential Securities brokers and one manager, Secretary of State William Galvin is insisting the mutual fund industry clean up its act. I think people come to mutual funds because they expect a certain degree of trust. That's what's marketed, but oftentimes what they've gotten is deceit and underperformance. The defendants are accused of market timing. Big investors making rapid-fire trades in and out of funds to reap quick profits, something small investors can't do. They should not be the practices that allowed skimming in, of, of, of profits to the disadvantage of people who are investors should be done away with. Yelvin says Prudential Securities was aware of the market timing, receiving many letters warning about the broker's activities. It's just the big institutional investor taking advantage of the smaller uh, investor, and uh, you know something needs to be done about it. And here are the names of the former brokers and the manager from Prudential Secur Securities that have been charged. Martin Drofner, Justin Ficken, Skifter Ajro, John Heffer, Mark Bellotti and Robert Shannon, who is the former manager of Prudential Securities. Now, the SEC is asking for all of the money back that was made from these trades, plus interest. They also are demanding that all trades must stop immediately, and they say there could be other fines. Live in Boston, Julie O'Claire, 7 News.